So James Harden was just traded to the Brooklyn Nets, and although that is another video, I'm more interested in what they gave up to get him. The answer to that would be their entire future. Three first round picks, fully unprotected. One from Milwaukee, to add on. Four unprotected pick swaps, which is a big mess. Brooklyn has their entire, all of their fit picks for the next seven years are not in their control. Not only that, but this was a four-team trade. Karis Levert was thrown into Indiana, and J.R. Allen ended up going to Cleveland. We already saw this with Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce. The Nets traded away the picks that would become Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and more that were ironically moved for Kyrie Irving. Now, Garnett and Pierce left just two off-seasons later in 2015, where the Nets began a three-year playoff drought, only saved by the D'Angelo Russell-led 2018-19 Nets. This successful season then encouraged Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant to sign with the team in the 2020 off-season, solidifying them as a contender. But Brooklyn hasn't learned from their mistakes yet, as this blockbuster trade going all in for James Harden is just as risky, with the pressure on for a championship. At this point in their careers, that's all the star-studied trio wants. And if it wasn't already, what the stars want is the Nets' main priority. 2024, the James Harden contract expiration offseason. The Nets need him back, because they don't have their picks. And those picks are going to get a lot more valuable if James Harden is not on this team. The funny thing is, two teams are not on this situation. As Brooklyn's predecessor, the Clippers have showed. The Clippers gave up just as much for all-star Paul George. Bright young star Shea Gilgis Alexander, now with the Hawks Danilo Gallinari. Three of their own unprotected first-round draft picks, as well as two of Miami's unprotected first-round draft picks. Two unprotected most favorable pick swaps. That is a lot. Kawhi Leonard, their own 2020 offseason pickup, has a player option this offseason, with a contract expiring for sure in 2022. Even though LA has now extended Paul George through 2025, as well as conveniently extended Luke Kennard and Marcus Morris to a total of around $30 million annually, a very tradable number, they are still relying on Kawhi's return. And if they can't re-sign Kawhi, their entire team falls apart. And that's the scariest part. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kawhi Leonard are four of the most powerful players in the NBA right now, each with a stranglehold on their organization. Whether or not that's good for the league, only time will tell. But the Clippers and Nets have taken huge risks to become contenders, and if it fails, their organizations will come crashing down. For more creative, informative, and high-quality sports content, make sure to follow Phenom on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as all of the Phenom podcast channels for each sport. The link tree in the episode description includes a direct link to all of the aforementioned platforms, so click on that to access everything. Phenom boasts a team of over 100 youth contributors from around the world, covering every sport on every media platform. If you are interested in potentially joining the Phenom team as a writer or content creator, send an email to cole at phenommedia.net showing your interest. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we can grow the channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.